in the bottom right position to start things off. Give it up for Kaitsu Gaming. He is solar. And his opponent up here in the top, joining up with Dragon Phoenix Gaming. He is Hero. Which, depending on where you are in the world, could be a delicious sandwich. Or a really good wrap. I think... No, actually, those aren't those aren't pronounced Hero. Never mind, I'm, uh, I'm making things up. Still a really good, still a really good sandwich, though. I, I feel, I feel like. Uh, I, I don't know what I feel. I apologize, guys. Uh, I, I am forgetting English. Uh, my my brain doesn't turn on until eight, and then uh, it doesn't start working, or it doesn't. It it stops working after like nine, so I only get like an hour of uh, good English. But uh, coming back to it, Hero here will just drop down that base. Nothing too crazy on his side as Solar. Going to take that forward expansion. So that's really going to open up the potential for Solar to be very aggressive in that mid game. And if you guys know Solar, he lives for that mid game. I know I say that about a lot of players, but I mean, it's just so true for Zergs. They love to kind of get in there with those lings, kind of just crash through your defenses, and it can be quite difficult to kind of stay ahead in terms of that macro to stop them. Now, I'm kind of just interested as to how Hero is going to start this series off. We will see his tech choice in just a couple of seconds here. With that Adept coming out, it's going to be Stargate. So, there's a couple of different ways that Hero can go with this Stargate. The most simple one is to just get that one uh, Oracle and kind of transition from there into a Robo Twilight Council. Uh, that way you're not overspending, overexerting yourself with the, um, the Stargate tech as it can be a little bit slow and expensive in the early game to kind of power up, leaving yourself very exposed to the Zerg player. But there's also, of course, the Zest style. Get a bunch of Void Rays and try and punch your opponent's teeth in with the power of the Golden Armada. And right now we do see one Void Ray on the way. We'll have to keep an eye on how many he makes um, overall. So yeah, that first Void Ray, just going to be looking for the Overlord. As Solar going to be trying to push. This Adept a little bit low on health, so might be able to break through. Oh. Hero actually missing with the pylon right there. So these links are going to be in, and they're going to be a bit annoying. We'll be able to get that full scout around. Sees the Oracle coming on out, so he knows he can just drop down a couple of spores and be safe versus that. Taking a look at it, Hero will be going for that plus one attack on the air weapons. That tells me he wants to stay on Stargate tech. What tells me that even more? Obviously the other Stargate. So, Hero's actually not really making anything out of his Stargate so far. Instead, just trying to tech up and hold on with what few units he has. He currently only has three Adepts, um, a Void Ray, and an Oracle here. But Solar, not really taking advantage of that fact. He doesn't have a ton of units himself. Just kind of playing this one out pretty standard. Going for that Roach Warren, building up that Queen Count. And you know what? I think he's... I think... He kind of recognizes that, hey, 
this is gonna be void race. I'm just gonna get a ton of roaches. And I'm gonna try and kill you, Solar. He is paying attention, but he still will lose two drones for a minute or two. Stasis trap will go off. So Solar is completely stopped on 45 workers. This is gonna be a do or die attack. Shield batteries are on the way. As a hero kind of recognizes that he does need to defend this third base. The Lings swarming across the roaches, morphing into those Ravagers. This is do or die right now for Solar. Will he be able to break through? Tune in next time for Dragon Ball ZGT. The wall is down, actually. So that is going to take a lot of attention away from this frontal assault. These Lings are going to be able to crush through this main base. And the shield battery is going to start to lose their overcharge potential here. It has been popped. And it doesn't really have a lot of energy. Nine workers have gone down. The, the Ravager Biles is going to clean up the Photon Cannons. There's not really that many Void Rays. And they don't really have any support on the ground. I think at the very least, Solar has broken this position. Now, the big question is, can he close it out behind this? He's currently all in. Uh, totally. He doesn't even have the lair right now. So he needs to win with tier 1 and tier 1.5 units. But Hero is completely supply block right now. He's got to defend with what he has. A good bio right there. Going to get rid of a lot of health from that Photon Cannon. The Void Race just going to go for a counterattack. He recognizes the fact that there's not much at home. The Queens doing what they can. But the Void Race are starting to lose a lot of health right there. What's left back at home is being overcharged. I just don't think this is enough. I think Solar will be able to punch through. Even though he's losing his third base right now, the natural is dead. Hero might be trying to base trade here, but that is not really something that you can base trade. All Solar has to do is make a couple of queens back at home, transfuse for days. And yeah, this main base is pretty much dead. The pylons will go down, so that's the end of production. And yeah, I mean, Solar will punch through. He will take the first game of this series. Not a single Void Ray left. Solar will lose his lair, but... I mean, I don't... I don't think he really cares. Hero only on 29 workers. We are in full-on base trade mode. Is Hero hiding anything out on the map? Right now, he does have these shield batteries, which aren't being taken down. But he does see them. Yeah, so this is going to come down to... I, I think Hero is just going to play until the last building is dead. He loses another Void Ray right there. But there's plenty of buildings left for Solar. And there you have it. The late tap out. But the tap out, nonetheless. And this time, Solar is going to actually be able to get his uh, base in the normal location. I feel like on these smaller maps, that can be quite a big win for the Zerg player. It's a small thing, but it's a little bit easier to defend. Your reinforcements are going to be a little bit closer to home. So, it's just a little bit easier to stay safer in that early game. Now, once again, nothing too crazy. Hero's just going to be getting that wall off. He's got the Cybernetics Core after the Nexus, so a little bit more economic focused. It, it, it's a small thing, again, but the smallest things in the early game are what lends you the greatest advantage as this game goes on. Oh, Jesus. Like, I'm looking at the predictions here. You guys really want Solar to win. 17,000 points for him.
Yeah, we should be seeing Hero drop down his tech relatively soon. I think it's going to be Stargate once again. And indeed it is, called it. As uh, he does, does get the Adept first, that's usually the indicator that he wants to expend his gas on that Stargate. And it just saves a little bit of time, a little bit of energy. As uh, we do see the probe, we're going to try and block that third base. Will not be in time. So Solar will be able to get that down. Adept going to come in for a little pokey poke. Won't be able to get the creep tumor. Just barely trying for it, but it will go down Solar. A little bit happy about that. As these guys are going to get a little bit of banter in the chat. But this time it is going to be just Oracle to start things off. There is no Void Ray coming on out. So we'll have to keep an eye on if he decides to transition behind this. Never mind. It's a Void Ray. There's the Void Ray. Uh, what does that semicolon mean? I, I think it means something in Korean, and uh, they just weren't set for their Korean, uh, the Korean word for it, but uh, the Void Ray does come out. The Oracle going to be dancing around, looking for an opening, but there are plenty of queens in position. Solar is just getting a couple of additional lings for defense. He's pumping out more of those queens. He's currently on five. Wants to get up to about 7 to 8 once he sees this Void Ray. Because that's going to tell him that, hey, once again, you're not going to have a lot on the ground. You're not going to have a lot for the defense. And so I'm just going to try and crush through early here. So right now, it's kind of just preparation mode for Solar. Uh, you can see him break down the rock wall. He's going to spread that creep a little bit further forward so those queens can... Uh, Kind of just soul strut across the map as the Oracle gets a couple of kills. Bef almost going down there. Got to be careful not to lose it. You'd need those revelations. But yeah, Solar is just prepping up as quickly as possible. He's getting his lair. He's getting his uh, uh, Roach Warren down. And yeah, we'll just have to see. He's got, a, he's got a couple of additional workers this time. Last time he did stop on 45. So that's going to be just a little bit of extra economy. The Oracle! Not going to go down. Oh my goodness. This guy has a death wish. I, I swear, you know, he, his crew, the crew inside that Oracle must be thinking, what the heck is going on? Why does he keep ordering us to go in we're already on fire we are going to fall if a gust of wind hits us now hero he's already got a transition coming he's getting plus one attack he's going for the uh, twilight council behind this which will allow him uh, to go for a couple of additional uh, tech paths uh, the Robo Bay, a Robo Facility, rather. Much, much quicker, so he will be able to get some defense against those Roaches as the as the uh, Oracle. Going to come in once again, gets uh, another kill. Very nice. Hero... Actually, is Hero playing a perfect game right now? Almost. Uh, only losing that one Adept and a couple of cancels. But I like how fast he's transitioning in uh, relation to the last game. He's going straight up to Archon Tech, which really does well. But the question is, will Solar give him the time to utilize that? A big gateway ex explosion might make the point moot. As, uh, as uh, the Roach count is already here. The Oracle goes down, so there's not going to be that much... Uh, to see other than the Queen starting to move their way across. Uh, Solar may have given Hero a lot, a lot more time to prepare. 
What are these units hanging out over here? It's a small ling run by. Okay. But here we go. The Void Ray is going to be going for a big attack of their own. And they will be able to get this base quite quickly here. The shield battery overcharge going to defend the front. The queens are already here. Once again, there's not that much at home, but he has a lot more production in the back. War Prism going to be warped in here to try and help out. The lair will fall. So here we're getting a lot more damage early on. Both sides are completely supply block here. So it's going to come down to whatever everyone else has. Solar just looking to defend his natural. He's got the spores. He's got the queens. And now we are almost in full-on base trade situation here. I think Solar has a little bit of an edge in that regard. As he's already in the main base, the Bile is going to crush through one of these Void Rays. The Archon goes down before it can even morph in. It's going to come down to the War Prism Micro, but that is a lot of anti-air in those Queens. Recall, forced to be used, but look how much damage is on these Voids. The Zealots trying to fight into a choke point. The transfuses on the Ravagers as well, keeping them very heartily alive. Hero, the low 100 supply. Oh my god. Takes a huge bio connection right there. Another Void Ray going down. Every unit counts at this point for Hero, and he's just not able to make use of them as much as he would like. Gigi is called. I guess you can say he is holding out for a hero for the morning light. He's got to be a little bit stronger and ready for the fight. As uh, we do see Solar going for a very greedy uh, expansion up here. Uh, did they fire Mr. Mountain Man Rushi? Um, I don't think so. He did cast uh, Dreamhack, I believe, a few days ago. Uh, the GSL qualifier part. And, uh, yeah, I don't think they, I don't think they would fire Rushi. He hasn't been canceled yet. I don't think any of our guys have been canceled just yet. But yeah, I think the big thing here from Hero is he has to recognize that this base is down. Has he gotten any vision of it so far? No, but he does see the fact that there is no natural expansion. So that kind of does tell him that either there's a big all-in coming his way. Or that uh, Solar did go for the greedy, greedy play. Now that influx of minerals is really going to help out quite a bit. Um, as uh, Blackburn does have a much shorter rush distance than the previous maps. Meaning that... Uh, those kind of queen pushes that Solar has been doing are so much more powerful. And yeah, just a little bit of confirmation right now. That's all he really needed to see. It raises some alarm bells, but it also tells him, okay, no all in just yet. Like we do see Solar as well sending a small bit of links to hunt down these Adepts, leaving the main base relatively open. The Adept just gonna kinda hang out, go for some drone kills, does get two of them so far. Uh, will pay for it with its life. But yeah, once again for Hero, nothing's changing. It's just gonna be Void Rays again. I would like to see that fancy, uh, faster transition and I would like to see it work out for him. But instead, I want to see him get some Immortals. I think that's going to be the linchpin of a good defense versus these Roach Pushes. They're just so tanky, so powerful. Um, and coupled that with the Shield Battery, that's the best way to hold on. Solar, I believe, has confirmation that it is indeed Void Ray. The Void Ray... Uh 
killing off that Overlord. Uh, revealing itself. So now it's just going to be morphing a ton of queens. And, uh, yeah, Solar doing a pretty good job of uh, spending his money, even though he's got a... He's got quite a bit of it coming in. Second Stargate. Very nice, very nice. Oracle gonna expend quite a bit of energy to get rid of that Spore Crawler. A good cancel by Solar, however, will keep that alive. And that Oracle gonna take quite a bit of damage early on here. Three workers did go down. A magic number for a good Oracle attack is five, but uh, you'll take what you can get versus Solar. Got the Forge coming on in. Shield battery has been dropped. A He's going to need a couple more of those as he's going up to that third base here. The queen count is rising quite steadily. But keep in mind, Solar does not have a lair. So that means quite a few more uh, units are going to be able to pop out. Quite a few more units are going to go for the kill. Once again, Solar is just gearing up for this big, aggressive, all-in attack. I mean, with how short the rush this is, it's going to be difficult for a hero to really engage into it. Killing off the photon cannons and the shield batteries at the third is such a big deal. Looks like the queens have begun their strut, but they are divided right now. Uh, gonna be attacking from multiple angles. The Oracle does catch full wind of this, but he doesn't see the full brunt of the army. Oracle will go down, so there is no revelations available to him. The Ravagers have morphed on in, and here we go. 24 more links on the production tab. This is do or die for Solar right now. A beautiful bio going to take out a lot of health on that Void Ray. The Shield Battery Overcharge has been popped, but that will be folks down. And that will indeed fall. So now it's going to come down to these Queens who... By the way, don't really have a ton of energy available to them, but they will be able to break through this third base at the very least. Void Rays trying to crush uh, these queens, but not going to be able to do so. And the Void Rays are taking uh, quite a bit of uh, damage here. Again, it is do or die. Hero needs to defend the high ground. He doesn't really have a lot other than these Vord Rays. Honestly, I don't know if it's going to be enough here. The Biles going to force the Void Rays to engage in pretty bad locations. The shield batteries are pretty much all he has here. I kind of like how Solar is... Um uh, macroing up behind it. He's getting his lair tech. He's um, getting enough queens at home to kind of push this away. As a hero is trying to attack. A little bit of focus fire will get rid of two of these void rays. And, uh, yeah, hero just doesn't really have a lot to get done here. Uh, the queen's going home. While the rest of the Ling is going to stop a third from going down. This is a very pirate attack here from Hero. Kind of take a look at that. Three Void Rays going down. And now the Carrier transition is on the way, but that is a very slow transition. That hallucinated Colossus is hilarious. All right, so now Solar is transitioning in to uh, Hydralisks here to take care of the Air Army. He can't really afford to give Hero too much time. I think he does kind of want to attack relatively soon in order to prevent that Air Army from getting too, too strong. I think 13 Hydralisks should do the trick, don't you guys?
Yeah, Solar up 50, up uh, 30 army supply right now. Uh, Hero adding on that third Stargate, but the Queens have already started the Soul Strut across the map. Adding in a couple of... Uh, adding in a, a couple of uh, force field boys, the Sentry boys. Uh, he does have uh, some shield batteries, and he still does have that high ground position to kind of defend. Not that many Ravagers either will mean that those uh, shield batteries will be able to stay alive for a little bit longer. But here we go. Solar going in for the kill. Four carriers. The Interceptor's going to start to go down like hotcakes. Now they are pretty much flying paperweights. Two of them at the very least. Uh, Solar doesn't even really need to focus fire them down. The ground army has fallen. The one shield battery is going to finish, but that will go down very, very quickly. Ravager Bile just barely misses. Yeah, this third base is at the very least dead. Ten more Hydras on the way. And with that, uh, Hero, he's going to try and defend. Remember, this is his last life. This is his last chance at glory. And you can see, he's just going to go for the Hail Mary. Going for that all in behind this. He's got to get some damage done on the other side of the map. But the Hydra is just going to go home to defend. I, I got to admit, I don't like that. Solar, you can attack. You can go in. And you can kill this. The Interceptors, again, just falling like hotcakes here. I, I, I don't like that Hero, or uh, Solar rather, is pushing back. Now Hero, he's starting to build up that intercept account. Now his army is actually pretty darn good. And good morning, Rushi. You are just in time to watch this last ditch effort of Hero for the defense. The interceptors crushing on through a good bile though, getting on top of those void rays. And now the air army starting to falter. Not that many interceptors are left to go. The third base trying to go down, and that is a, a fruitless effort. As he wrote, just keeps trying to pull the army of Solar back. He keeps kind of showing that, hey, I'm going to go across the map and attack. If you even tr think about coming up my ramp. Oh, a wasted Chrono right there. He just doesn't have the income to continuously pump out these uh, interceptors and carriers at the same time. Solar is just looking for that angle. The Ravager Bile is going to get rid of the force field, so that's not too much energy left to go. The Interceptors pummeling through here. But again, they're just never in high enough number. He is way too... He's just spending way too much to do so here. Solar's still up. Almost double the army supply. I got to admit, like, I don't really know why he's not going up that ramp. He doesn't really need to play this game with Hero. Uh, DPG Heroes saying, show me the money. If you guys don't know, that is an old Brood War cheat code. He needs some money. And uh, saying 200 pop, GG is called.